Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use this keyword research software to get long tail keywords from Google free of charge. In fact, it's a script that you can download and you can put on your website and you can allow your visitors to use this totally free of charge. And it's a brilliant script as well. And you can add your own banners in, inside of here as well, guys. And I'll be showing you exactly how to work with this now. So anyway, I'm going to add my keyword. I'm going to put down cryptocurrency. And I'm going to be working with Google. I, th I think it actually only works with Google. And we're going to be working with prefixes and we're going to be working with suffixes as well. I'm going to be mentioning what this is in a moment. I'm going to click on suggest keywords. Um, and this is going to go down and start getting these keywords for us. And it puts all of the keywords inside of this here. So there's a few things that I want to go over while this is actually still working, guys. Um, the first thing that I want to mention is when you're doing continuous running, then this allows you to do your keyword plus the prefixes and suffixes that you've added and then all of the keywords that are suggested by Google it will go and add the prefixes and suffixes to them as well so it can continuously run and generate a massive list of long tail keywords from these search engines the second thing that I want to make notes to you about as well guys is when you add this script to your website then it's not your resources on your server that are actually being used it's actually the users resources and I can show you this now if I click on fiddler which is actually um, a HTTP request as you can see it's making requests to Google search uh, to actually get these suggestions and it's using my IP and it's not using my actual servers IP as you can see, it's finished and it's allowing me to start again if I wanted to. And what you can do with this now is let's show 100 um, keywords inside of here. And what I like doing as well is I like to show the visibility of the length of these actual, not the length, the... Um, the words, the number of words um, in the actual keywords. And then I like to sort these from highest to lowest. And then, then we're able to get some real nice long tail keywords uh, that we can actually work with. So for example, how to buy Bitcoin in a Bitcoin ATM. A cryptocurrency is a form of crypto or form of currency, Femix, whatever. When cryptocurrency will be banned in India. So you get some really nice long tail keywords from this. And this was only a quick two to three minute run that I done in front of you. And if you got a VPN, or VPS, then you can actually use them and you can run this behind them to get a real nice um, massive list of these long tail keywords. And what you can do then is you can actually take these keywords, so you can actually export these. So let's just say, for example, you wanted to copy these keywords. Um, you're going to copy them and it's going to export them to an Excel file. You can actually just, you can literally, oops, shouldn't have done that. You can copy these, for example. That was actually a nice list of 536 keywords that we got from that. Um, and if you've got the um, keyword AI software, in fact, what I'll do, I'll put this on pause and then I'll actually go over to keyword AI software and show you what we can do. Okay, so let me just make sure we're still recording. Okay, so what we can do is we can copy them results and we can come to the keyword AI and in the grouper, we can just add all of these keywords down here. Um, now, obviously we know cryptocurrency. Oh, look, we've got some pretty bad suggestions with R on there as well, uh, but not to worry. We know cryptocurrency is gonna be a keyword um, that's gonna be used so many times. So I'm just gonna tell the ignore list of groups that I don't want to add cryptocurrency as the key as a group leader. And I'm going to click on save and I'm just going to group them and I'm going to click on start. Okay, so it's grouping the data for us and I'm going to click on here to see the results and we can open this up and what we can see from here, give it a couple of seconds, we can see we have 10 keywords with Bitcoin in there. We have 12 keywords with mining in there. We've got news keywords in there. We've got invest keywords in there. We've got stock and market and coin and price and buy. So this is a really cool way to go ahead and get even more suggestions and even more keywords from Google um, and then use keyword AI to group everything up for you into nice, actionable, manageable groups um, that are super duper targeted and highly relevant. Okay, so let me just show you how you can actually work with this. And let me make some more notes about this as well, guys, because this hasn't been developed by us. Okay, um, and um, I just wanna mention this to you and show you exactly how you can work with this and get this on your own server should you want to do this as well. 
Okay, so if I click on about, um, as you've noticed, I've actually made some changes down here. Um, but I've left this note here as well, guys. This is a fork of the keyword shitter tool that can be found using using the link below. So if I click on this here, um, it's going to open up in a new tab. And what you'll see down here, guys, is it's actually a tool that's made available for free um, by some guys that have actually developed this. And the license time type is a MIT license. And that means you're able to actually work with it. I think you can even sell it as well, guys. Um, but obviously, you have to leave the details about the MIT license being on this. So I've actually left a link back to the source so you can come along and you can actually download this. But what you'll notice from here is when you come along here, um, then it's actually a theme like this. But what I done is I actually um, modified the theme slightly um, so that I can add a little banner towards the top as well. Um, and I changed some of the text down here as well. So if you want the version that I have, um, I wasn't able to find a way to actually fork it on GitHub for some reason. Um, I don't know, maybe you have to be logged in and then I'm gonna be able to fork it. Um, but anyway, what I'll do, I'll actually leave a link for you um, and I'll leave a link um, on this page somewhere. I don't know if you're going to see this inside of my blog or you're going to come over to here. Um, in fact, what I'll do, guys, um, is I'll actually leave a link to um, the source code for this project um, in um, underneath this video. OK, so then you're going to be able to upload it when you upload it onto your server, guys, you're just going to upload it into a folder, any folder you want. You're going to upload the files. Um, it's going to come with multiple files. And the only file that you need to mess around with is index.html. OK, when you come over to index.html, then it's going to open up like this. OK, you can change the title if you want to change the title. You can change the meta description if you want to change the meta description as well. Um, and now here's the banner that I've added down here, guys. OK, so done for you keyword research. Get high search volume by your intent keywords and phrases done for you. And then I've added in a link for niche genetics. Click here and it opens on a blank page. So if I click here, you can see it opens up to niche genetics. Um, of course, guys, you're going to be removing this, adding in your own little banner in here if you wanted to. OK, um, and then down here, um, if you can see, we've got an about section. If you wanted to change this text down here, then all you have to do is come down here. Let me just scroll a bit further down. OK, and you can change it down here. OK, and here's the link to um, the actual GitHub page of the actual project. Um, so anyway, guys, all you have to do is download this, edit whatever you want to edit inside of here, edit your banner, upload it onto your server and link out to it from your website. So let your visitors come and use it. Show them a video on how to actually use this and how to benefit from this. In fact, you might have some premium clients that would love something like this and you can customize this and you don't even have to make notes, I believe, um, of this being from um, the GitHub. I'm not 100% sure on this, so just come along to the link, have a look at the MIT license read about it, make sure uh, you know what you can do with it and what you can't do with it. I believe MIT license means you can even sell it, but the main requirement is you have to have um, or you have to make notes that it's an MIT license. So anyway, I'm making full notes down here. I'm actually leaving a link to the source as well. Um, this is for you guys. Add it on your blog customize it let your visitors work with it in fact i would highly recommend you guys work with it as well um, you just saw the kind of results we're able to get in a few minutes and then add the details inside of um, keyword ai and if you haven't already got keyword ai then it's a brand new tool that we made for free and it works with two artificial intelligent engines ibm watson and amazon comprehend and it also gets suggestions from google as well um, and it gets you questions related suggestions and it gets you how to related suggestions as well guys and you can get this from um, keyword ai.net okay and all you have to do is add your name and your email in here click on download now and verify the email and the download link will be sent to you and you'll be able to work with both keyword ai and also get suggestions from this um, web-based application and even offer it on your own websites as well. So anyway, I really hope you enjoy this and I hope you um, do make use of it and put it up on your websites and make it available for everyone to benefit from. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed this video.